Conservancy District is a very unique thing in the state of Ohio. This is one of the, the several lakes that we have built. There's really a hydraulic network here across the entire Muskingum watershed, which is the largest wholly contained watershed in the state of Ohio. I think probably the best thing that most people enjoy when they come out to the parks is truly they're getting away. Um, they're enjoying time together as a family with their kids. They are generally not too far from home, but far enough that it feels like they're on vacation. And many times I hear people say, it almost doesn't feel like I'm still in Ohio whenever I come here. I'm a seasonal camper. I've been here for seven years. When they said they were remodeling, um, our stuff went to the new spot. We got a little taste of what it was gonna be like. Without the investments through the shale development, um, it was not as easy for us to make the improvements that we're looking at making today. And truthfully, it's very likely we'd never have been able to afford uh, many of the improvements that we've seen. The improved electric, the improved utility service to the campsites. I just like the convenience. I come here April 1st, I'm here. I am everything, I can hook up my water and my power and put out my slides and I'm good to go. The investment uh, has been transformative to the district. What we've been able to do uh, for the benefit of the public and our stakeholders uh, has been has been excellent. We have big laundry mats here. We have massive shower houses that if I have all my grandkids, we just go down there and it's just so much easier. And there was a, a lot of debate, both by our board of directors, by our conservancy court, uh, as well as within the community, asking a question like, why would a conservancy district with a conservation mission at heart want to get involved in oil and gas development? We uh, work with the operators to do things like sound walls for sound uh, proofing and buffering. Um, we do surveys before a uh, rig even gets on the pad um, for line of sight. Um, you know, can you see that from the park? Can you see that from the marina? I don't see where they've hurt the look of the park. This park is still beautiful, was always beautiful, you know, and I don't think that them going through has damaged anything like a lot of people were worried about. It's changed the district in ways that never would have happened before. Um, just the, the ability for us to have access to revenue that we then purposely invest back into the community at the levels and the extent that we've been able to do that never would have happened without having a, a significant source of revenue. That happened to be an oil and gas. We did it the right way. And I think we'll, we'll, we'll bring anybody over here and show them, as well as the operators would do that too, to show them how we think we did it, that we can be a model for others as they look forward to developing their properties as well.